Hey everybody, Jesse at Troy Motors next to me, a 2016 Dodge Ram Laramie Longhorn, a truck we're very excited to tell you about. If you shop with us for a while, we do a lot of trucks, Chevy's Dodge, Ford, we do it all. This is as sweet as they come. This is the most loaded up truck we've had this year and again, very excited to tell you about it. Front end damage here, uh, we'll get to that in a second. Let's take you around the truck. Uh, overall condition aside from the damage is perfect. It's got 92 miles on it. So you're looking at a brand new truck and like I said, it is loaded like you wouldn't believe. Memory seats, power sunroof, heated cooled seats, heated steering wheel, navigation. I mean, I, I got the sheet in front of me here. Why don't I tell you some more? Nine speaker Alpine package, anti-lock brakes all around. Uh, like I said, heated steering wheel. 20 inch alloys, nice touch. Frank can get a shot here. You got a paint matched inserts that matches the trim. Really nice touch. Smells like new, looks like new on the inside. And this addition, it's kind of filled with these just kind of knick-knack pieces of awesomeness. That buckle there, western style. It's got stitching on the dash with the same thing. I mean, it's, it's awesome. Really no damage, nothing of note here. Like new condition. Coming around the rear, factory bed cover, factory spray-in bed liner, uh, backup cameras you'd imagine, front and rear parking sensors, chrome tips on the exhaust. Like new on this side, really nothing of note until we get to right here. You can see some running damage along the board. It's still mounted, you don't have a, a structural issue, but cosmetic damage along the edge. This front lip here too. And this rocker molding, you can see, just barely caught it. On the door, a little chip in the paint here. We've been very careful with this. It will bite just a little bit, but we try not to go any, any, uh, any further than this. So, keep the door intact like new. Very, very nice. Fender obviously needs to be replaced. The hood is good. We look pretty closely at this. Uh, really good. Wipers are going on. Probably a rain sensor. Well, let's take a look at the damage here. So right off the bat, we have a little bit of a sway in the lower rails. I don't see any folds or bends or kinks in the rail, so it's just kind of a maybe a degree or two sway. You can see this upper rail, upper structure, pushed in a little bit. So this, along with that lower rail, is just going to have to get pulled out to get your body lines in alignment and everything right. Now underneath here on this right front wheel, sway bar link is missing. The sway bar itself looks okay. I don't see any, uh, oh, you got a little scuffing on the underside. So you may end up replacing the sway bar. Now I think really the only concern I have down here is this lower control arm mounts, the front mount and the rear mount. Both are just pushed in a little bit. Maybe you can see a little bit of a bend in this cross member there on the frame. Um, it should be able to, to be moved forward. It's not torn or ripped out of the housing. The bolt is still intact. Uh, so definitely enough to work with there to fix it. Uh, but that's really, that's probably why it was stolen. Uh, I have a little bit of a bend in the tie rod as well. All totally normal and manageable things. Nothing that, uh, that stops you from fixing this very easily. Have a little bit of a bend in this upper structure here. You can see this is just from the impact coming in. Folded that up a little bit. That's what's causing the distortion there on both the fenders. The cooling looks good. Um, you know, the core support has a plastic. We won't be able to get the camera in, but there's a class, uh, plastic vertical support. It just has a little bit of a crack in it. Looks to be cosmetic. We did let it idle for a few minutes. We had a tiniest little drip out of the radiator. So it's probably a line. It could be the radiator itself. Whatever it is, it passes an eye test. So it's going to be a part swap at the worst. You don't have a structural issue. Really not too bad. This front bumper gonna have to go two piece here, the center piece and the lower piece will need to be replaced. Both headlights, upper grill, left fender as well. You can see you got that movement there from the sway. But like I said, I mean for what this thing is worth, originally paid in the 50s here. We had a fifty-five thousand dollar ticket price. And uh, for what you can put this together, you're gonna save ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars, who knows? This is uh, this is awesome. Go ahead and bid.